Hello everyone, this video is going to show you how to schedule a pre-recorded video. You can do it in Restream if you want, that's great. How to schedule a pre-recorded video to broadcast via Restream as if it's a live. So helpful. Uh, it just gives a little more of that live interactivity. Lives always perform uh, better than a standard video just for the fact that it push notifications and engagement and all that stuff. Um, but you can do a pre-recorded video and push it out live. Let's let's dive into this. So right now we're in Restream in the first screen, your dashboard. OK, this is where you arrive when you first log in. Um, we're going to click down into scheduler. Now, again, scheduler is available for premium, uh, more premium levels of Restream. And you can check out their pricing to find out how so helpful. I actually use this today. So uh, I am going to click in scheduler. Now, here's a use case for this. Uh, I actually had four live streams or five, excuse me, five live streams I've done over the last month. And I wanted to create a recap video of all of those live streams and say, hey, um, just snip it here, snip it here, glue, I edit it together. And I'd like this to broadcast out as if we were live. Okay. And that was largely in part to not holding my show maybe, or maybe I need to be like, hey, I can't physically be live, but I can make it look like we are. So the way you do that is you can schedule a recorded video. Now notice I've done this already. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start with a new one. So we're going to hit a schedule a recorded video. And actually, I'm going to block out here. So we're going to upload a video first. So um, when you first get to schedule, if you haven't used it yet, you're going to arrive to a screen that will walk you through this. I think it's better to go into videos and upload your video first. So go ahead and click upload video. And essentially all that's going to do is look around in your Explorer or your Finder based on your device and say, well, which video do you want to upload? So uh, you would just select it and click open. Uh, I selected this video. All right. So once it uploads, uh, it's going to give you some just general information about it. Here's the length. Here's the resolution, keyframe, and et cetera. Now you are limited. Uh, your best case scenario is if it has to be under one gig in size and preferably under, um, it has to be max an hour long. Uh, if you try to do anything longer than that, it's probably going to hiccup on you and say, you can't really do that. So my video is under 10 minutes long. It's for sure under one gig. Now, once it's uploaded, then I like to go ahead and click on this. I can hit schedule here. Uh, otherwise, I can go to the queue and go schedule it there. So if I click schedule here, um, what's going to happen? And you can see right there, it says, uh, you know, any it gives you a little warning. If your file happens to be over two gigabytes, remember you have um, you have some limitations, but if it's over two gigabytes, it says try to give us two hours because we have to, remember they have to upload it too. This is going to go through an uploader system that Restream works with that is going to need the same amount of time that you would need if you were uploading a two gig video. All works that way. So here, now this is important. Um, whatever your title of your video was when you uploaded it, this is what you need to change because guess what? This is going to be the title that appears above your video wherever you're posting it, okay? Whether it's in the post copy, um, like LinkedIn, it'll be the post copy, the, the update you're putting out uh, on YouTube, it'll be the, the actual title on Periscope or Twitter, you know, Twitter's live, it's gonna be the title too. It's gonna appear above your video. So you definitely wanna say that. So I, I believe this one was a social glue uh, recap powered by Restream and I had put January 2021 so at least it gives people an idea what they're watching you could also say uh, featuring uh, Holly Cleary and of course you have only 70 characters so you want to make sure you keep it pretty concise so you have a few limitations there versus what you would normally have when you're just going live uh, natively from Restream. So there's my video. And if I need to, I can kind of do a little down there. Um, I also can select, remember Restream will give you a demo video. Anything that's in your queue, you can, or anything that you've uploaded in your videos tab, you can select in here. This is the only one I have uploaded right now. Here's where you can select the time. Now, uh, you obviously want to go for either a current day or date in the future. You can't backdate it. And I've got, it's going to read where you're coming from, your IP address. Is, mine is from Denver, Colorado, the mountain time zone. So there's my mountain time. So keep that in mind uh, to remember when you want this to go live for the best audience reception. Okay. Uh, now, if you, right now, my clock on my computer says 118 and it said, well, 132. If I try to say I want it to go live at 120, it's going to give me a little flag saying, you know, that's in two minutes. It's not going to work. We're, it's not going to happen. So you need to give it at least 10 minutes and maybe a little bit more breathing room. Again, it's got to process all this and upload it 
into these other channels. So you've got to give it time to do that. So I usually try to do at least 15 minutes ahead of time. So if I put a 135 in there, I'm in the clear. Okay. Click on this advanced pull down right here. This is where you can decide which channels this needs to go out on. Now, if you need to add any channels, you'll need to go do that in your dashboard. Uh, I usually go live on YouTube, my uh, Periscope, which is for Twitter Live, and then LinkedIn. Uh, I may decide, mm, I don't want this to go live on Twitter. Uh, actually, I only want it to go live on YouTube, and I can go ahead and do that. If you want to turn them all off and on, or off and then on, you can do that as well. Um, you can also tell it if you want it to repeat. Okay, uh, so let's just say, yeah, I want it to do live twice, and maybe I want to have it do it every 60 minutes, um, or maybe you want it to be seamless where it loops over and over on the on the, twice on the uh, the broadcast. Um, you can do that. Uh, I don't know what use cases you might want to do that for. Um, you know, if it's a live, you're kind of trying to make it feel like, hey, this is live. If you start looping it. It's not going to look like it's live, so just keep that in mind. So I'm actually going to say don't repeat. And then this is the part you don't want to change. Um, based on where you are um, and the, the engine that it's using to do these scheduled uh, live streams via a recorded video, um, I don't change this. It's I, I did pull this pull down and said, well, don't I need one that's in um, you know Denver? No, this is kind of, if you think about it, it's almost like uh, cell towers or something like that. I may not have a cell tower right outside my house, but I've got one nearby that is the best one for me to use to get on my network, right? Same way that this applies here, just leave it alone. It's gonna recommend the best one for you and then you can hit scheduled rec recorded video, okay? Now I am gonna just show you really quick. Let me go pull up my YouTube channel. So I'm on my, my dashboard and look, it, I was able to go live earlier. Live stream ended one hour and three minutes ago. I had a view on it. Um, and so it is able to tell you, okay, well, let me go look at that. And if you want to go look at this particular thing, you can go to video analytics. You can see the comments that might have been left on it. But yeah, so it went live. And I remember getting a notification on my email because I'm, you know, my channel owner. It said, hey, you have a live broadcast going on. So it will go live. It also went live on Twitter. So, um, so as you are live, remember that frees you up. You're not maybe the one hosting or producing. Now you can go actually and interact with the comments on your post and say, hey, glad to see you. Isn't this a great snippet? Isn't this a great thing that we're seeing right now? And engage with your audience as they're watching. So that's essentially how that scheduler works. Um, and again, if you go back to Q, I already have a video in here and you want to schedule a recorded video. All it's going to do is say, okay, well, I'm going to bring up that same dialog box. Please pick which video you already have uploaded that you'd like to do. And it walks you through that same process. So again, that is on the scheduler tab uh, on your restream left navigation. And uh, it's pretty easy. It works great. Um, and just for you, in case you're in a pinch and you can't physically be live at the time you're supposed to be live, you can always pre-record. And you can use Restream to do that, uh, which we have another video that shows you how to do that. Make a really nicely produced video, save it, upload it, and you can put it right in here to then broadcast out at a time and on the channels you determine. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And please feel free to watch our other Restream videos about, this, about these topics. And uh, best of luck on your next scheduled video that you push out by Restream. I hope this was helpful. Click there to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget the bell. Also, click over there in case there's any other videos on this topic you'd like to watch. Lastly, if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future how-to social video, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to create something that will save you time, make you more efficient, and be really social.